In my previous video, I asked you to follow your intuition to guide you through pack one, pack two, or pack three. So this is pack one. And as I reveal in front of you, are you ready? Here we go. Wow. And I've paused there for a moment because I need to collect my thoughts. It's the death card. But is it? As everything comes to an end. And what this card is trying to say to you, don't think about the past, move forward. It's trying to inspire you as one door shuts, another door opens. But at the moment, you're a little bit hesitant about where you're going to go because the card is revealing upside down. You know that you've got the courage to do it, but you're not listening to your own intuition. As you're watching this video right now, the main thing you need to focus on is here and now. So change what's in front of you and just think of this. What you're doing right now in your life, you're changing your future you. So the card is trying to say, invite intuition, strength and courage in ways. But if there's one thing you want to change, no time like the present. There you go. You're stepping in towards something that is wonderful. And as the card introduces the Empress to you, the Empress is trying to say, you need people you can trust. So you've overcome so much as the death card came in and said, yeah, you can trust people now. You're stronger than ever before. So get back to basics, follow your heart. You never know where it's gonna lead you. Next card. Movement card, fabulous. So you're all geared up. And as soon as I pick this card up, this card is showing you value and the value is you. So as you proceed through the next couple of months, just remove anything that you feel that you don't use anymore, that's not needed for you now. Give blessings and gratitude when it's needed most because the same to me, as you're going through the course of this year, it's important to feel that life is changing in your direction. So change with it. Don't be frightened of moving off. Don't be frightened of just letting go of certain things that you can't control because this card has given you a lot more insight than you ever imagined. And it's trying to say to you now, act. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's see what the next one's gonna bring. Oh, the magician has give you an illusion. Isn't that bizarre? Okay, this magician card can be a little bit temperamental sometimes, especially in the in the major arcana of the cards. So the magician is trying to advise you, cut past the illusion. Believe in your future. If you're making big statements in your life, do it now, but write it down. Just keep to your own counsel. Don't have to tell the world about what's going on because you're feeding people. We just understand one thing. Believe in yourself and it will get you there. Really good news is coming your way in the path one, by the way. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, that's rekindling. If you want to rekindle something that you feel is a friendship or a love emotion, all I say is follow your heart. If you feel it from the heart all the way through to the plexus, all the way up to the higher crown, if you feel that you need to rekindle something that has been torn apart, friendship, family, whatever it is, just ask for your soul brothers and sisters to step forward. Don't be afraid to say, oh, well, yeah, I'm in the wrong or I want to move on from this. Because moving on is allowing you to pursue better things in life. It's allowing you to seek new wonders. And don't judge every person you've come across in your past. Because they're not all the same. And the last card for number one is this. Are you ready? Foolish acts is foolish ways. We follow our instincts in every day. You're no fool. You know for a fact who you are and what you stand for. So this card is trying to tell you, don't address the people who, who are giving you malice. Don't allow yourself to be put in that situation because it's not the future for you. 
the fool is also saying to you is follow, following your instincts is going to open doors. You'd be foolish not to in ways. So embrace this year. Allow light to come in. Embrace what you feel is better for you. And watch out for the, the two weeks in May and also July, August. Very, very comforting. We all like to run to the sun. But I do sense that taste of adventure for you. Enjoy the opportunities. Enjoy the change. And just give gratitude when it's needed most. And I hope you enjoy that.